What's going on guys, Nimbus here and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video and as you can see by the t-shirt, it's going to be about Blops 3, baby. I thought I'd hop inside some grapple playlist on the new DLC so we could check out the new DLC and grapple because it's fun as fuck and talk about some of the rumors in, in Black Ops 3 and what might possibly happen and my take on it pretty much so if you want to know what i think about it keep watching this video if you don't parliament tdm oh this game's almost over anyways this is a new uplink map so for those of you who didn't know we'll be playing this for uplink along with skyrise for search and drift and compound for hardpoint so that should be fun but anyways this video is about blobs 3 so i've been watching a lot of blobs 3 gameplay and i really like what i see so far um it doesn't look like people are jumping around as much if you guys have watched it all. I'll link some uh, Black Ops 3 gameplay in the description below. But it seems like people are jumping around, doing some crazy movements. It seems like it's back to traditional COD for the most part with their own little twist. Now, Treyarch always innovates and starts like, they, they always do the coolest stuff. Black Ops 2 is like the best game, in my opinion, COD's ever had. And I expect them to make another really solid game. The gameplay looks similar, the fluidness of the movement looks nice. The guns look really good. I saw Nate Shot's video with the P90 where he was just like shredding fools and it just looked really nice. Um, the kill time does look a little fast. Wow, I just beamed that guy. You saw that? And uh, the kill time does look a little fast, but that's all stuff that can be tweaked. Um, keep in mind, it is a beta version of the game, but it, it, it looks very sick. But, um, so there's a big rumor that I wanted to talk about uh, with Black Ops 3. Um, Apparently, we're going to be switching to the PS4, so um, the rumor is that the deal, well, this isn't a rumor, the deal with Activision, or not Activision, Microsoft's deal with Activision, excuse me, is up, so the rumor is that Sony signed a, a deal with Activision for the rights to esports and Call of Duty, and apparently Sony's investing like they did in Black Ops 1, so for those of you who don't know, back in Black Ops 1, we had a pro circuit. And we had a pro circuit with a prize pool of six events that was about $400,000 between those events. And I'm fairly sure Sony put up all the prize for that year. So um, that's actually a lot of money. And Sony pretty much jump-started uh, Black, Black Ops 1 on the circuit. And I feel like Sony and Activision have a good relationship. So um, I think Sony wants to come back and, you know, come back with a bang. And I think this year is going to be insane because I think Black Ops 3 will be on the PS4. And... Um, the rumor is that there's going to be another champs on PS4. Um, Activision is going to be, or Sony's going to be supporting Activision 100%. They're going to give MLG all the PS4s and stuff like that. And that's the big rumor. And um, I'm actually really excited because I like the PS4. I'm a little hesitant because I do like this controller more. I have a PS4. Well, my friend has a PS4, and I was using it. And I don't really like the joysticks right next to each other, but I'm sure Scuff will come out with a sick controller. So that's the rumor, and I'm not sure if that'll actually happen, uh, switching the PS4, but I, I'm like 90% sure we, we are going to be switching. Um, everybody's been talking about it, and I mean, so a couple of reliable sources told me that um, we will be switching, but uh, we'll see. Another cool thing I heard about Black Ops 3 is that they're bringing back the uh, kill streaks. They're bringing back the lightning strike and the hellstorm, so that's going to be sick because I feel like that brought a lot of excitement to Hardpoint, especially. Um, it, it just was like it was so exciting to like get a lightning strike or play for streaks. It was a whole new, a whole new element um, to the game, a whole new skill set you had to have. And I'm mostly excited for dexterity. Apparently, dexterity is built into the game. I mean, I haven't played it, but this is all stuff that I've heard, and I've only heard like good things because. Traditionally, I'm a dexterity player. I mean, when the tar and blobs two, or blobs two, when the tar and ghost was out, I was really good. And then in blobs two, I used the sub. Um, when there's no dexterity, I'm not a really good sub player. I, I'm not a good pre-aim player. Um, that's why in ghost you saw me use an AR when dexterity. Uh, well, when the tar went away, because the vector wasn't a dexterity gun, and I'm lagging. What the hell? And the because the vector wasn't a dexterity gun. And in in this game, now that we're using ASMs and we don't have dexterity, that's why I use a bow. I just, I need dexterity to run a sub and I'm like really good. I don't know why, and that's why you see a lot of players also that aren't that good, like Pat, he's normally, or Aches, if you guys know him, he's normally, he's a dexterity player. Uh, I play very similar to him when I run a sub at least, and um, it's just tougher to play um, with, when you just pre-aim all the time if you're an aggressive player. But yeah, so 
um, that's that's really exciting and there's just a lot of cool things with Bob's 3 that I'm really excited for and I think I'm gonna play this next year and go really hard in the competitive side of things but I really want to grow my YouTube too so um, next year's a big year for me you guys can expect a lot of content next year I just really want to keep progressing with this stuff and hopefully as more Black Ops 3 news comes out I can get it out to you guys but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always leave a like comment and subscribe if you did and I'm gonna be nasty at this compound map, dude. This map's sick. But I'm out. Peace.